There's heroes in the Bible. They're all real special to me. So sit right back and listen a while. I'd like to tell you about two or three. Now, number one's gonna be old Noah. In God's eyes, Noah found grace. God said, Noah, build me an ark that I may save this human race. Well, old Noah, he started building the people bad and they made fun. But when that ark was finished, the great flood really did come. Yeah, the heroes of the Bible, they're all real special to me. Told you about one, now I'll tell you about two, then I'll tell you about number three. Now number two's gonna be old Enid. How great he must have been. But Enid went walking with the Lord one day. He never came back again. You know God must have reached down and got him and took him right up through heaven's door. Because the people they searched for old Enid, but Enid just was no more. Yeah, the heroes of the Bible, they're all real special to me. We talked about one, we talked about two, now we'll talk about number three. Now number three's going to be old Moses, of his words we still read. Hey, stood right up to old Pharaoh, he says, now Pharaoh let his children go free. But old Pharaoh's heart was hardened, he said, now Moses, that ain't going to be you and me know what happened down there at the old Red Sea. Yeah, the heroes of the Bible, they're all real special to me. We talked about one, we talked about two, we even talked about number three. But of all of the heroes, let's talk about just one more. And let's not put a number out by his name, let's just call him the Lord. For the greatest of the heroes, why he's the savior of you and me. He came down here, he shed his blood, he died that you and I might go through. He's even built for us a mansion that's gonna last through all eternity. Yeah, the greatest of the heroes is the Christ who died for you and me.